T is Pete Dominic. Outside of Pete in the 53B is Bill Maruka. Inside row number three in the Grand Prix number 51. This is the father of Sean Tunis. This is Mark Tunis in the 51 inside of row number three. And rounding out the field out of the Winkler area, this is the Jansen number 88. Also sponsored by JKW Construction. This is Cody Wall starting in the sixth starting position outside of row number three. Eight laps go up on the Pepsi board for street stock heat number one. A pair of street stock heats here tonight for Oasis Construction, Supreme Overhead Doors, Tire Stewardship Manitoba, and Caspian Construction. All right, Rob Weens in the Murray number 86 leads them off turn number four, and we are racing. Well, not a good start for the number 86 at all as he goes from the penthouse to the outhouse in one long straightaway. He started on the pole and is now dead last. Your leader out of West St. Paul, the number 39, Sean Tunis, but here comes the 53. Bill Maruka from the fourth starting position has slid in front of the 2012 points champion. Maruka is flying. Cody Wall on the move as well as he comes to party with the 2T. Pete Dominic behind the wheel of the 2T car. That of course sponsored by Odyssey Homes and Vipond along with St. Vitale Electric. Sean Tunis now battling back in the 53. That's going to be a great race. We've got trouble in turn number one and two. I believe that is the 88 of Cody Wall that has collected the tractor tire down there. It is, so yellow flag out on the speedway. We do have a lap in, however, so we will go the regular style restart just as soon as we can get them lined back up. Of course, each and every driver carries a transponder on their car around the firewall area. As the car comes across the start finish line, it sends data to our laptop computers. That's how we can go back to the last completed lap, figure out who was where, and line them up accordingly. Also, the drivers are equipped with what they call a race receiver. It is a radio receiver in their ear, and our competition director, Dale McEwen, can talk to the drivers and let them know there's a hazard on the track well in advance of them hitting it. Dale McEwen can also tell them exactly how they need to line up. So the race receiver, not only a great safety device, but also speeds the show up a little bit. So two laps down on the Pepsi board, six remain. Bill Maruka, after a great start, will lead. Sean Tunis being scored in the second spot. He picks the inside of row number two, pushing the 2T to the outside of row number two. The 2T, Pete Dominic started in the third starting position and is there right now. We're looking for green this time around. Six laps is now the distance. Green flag is out, here we go. Sean Tunis charges to the bottom of the track but Maruka carries too much speed and goes around. Pete Dominic looking quick as well in the Odyssey Holmes 2T. He's right there and ready to strike. Great battle up front continues. Sean Tunis gets traction now. Bill Maruka a little bit sideways out of turn two. A drag race into turn number three. Tunis looking to pin that 39 low in the corner. And here comes Pete Dominic as well. What a great street stock race. Sean Tunis making it stick this time. Maruka way to the top of the track, the 2T coming into the second spot. Cody Wall almost into the wall in turn number four. He is still mobile over there as he rolls down the embankment. The 2T of Pete Dominic gets around. The 51 of Tunis gets around. We've got action at both corners of the speedway. 
Cody Wallace moving in turn number four. Tunis and Dominic moving in turn one and two. Wow, is this going to be a great finish? Four laps on the Pepsi board. What great action up front in the street stock division. And now we're going to tighten them up once again on the restart. Well, don't forget to join the Imagine Mental Health Race to Stop the Stigma on July 25th. People with mental illness have a chemical flaw, not a character flaw. Help to end the stigma of mental illness and get involved today. Visit imaginementalhealth.com for more information. Street stock heat number two waiting in the staging area. They will be followed by the super stock, so we need all super stocks. Get ready and get to staging immediately. All right, looks like green next time around. Single file style restart. Maruka goes back to the point spot. Sean Tuna second. Pete Dominic third. Watch those top three cars for four laps as the green is out. Here we go. Sean Tunis takes a run at the 53 of Maruka. This could develop a push, and it does. Maruka slides up into four. Well, Sean Tunis, a two-time champion in the street stock division, knows to put pressure on the leader. He has done that, has now taken the lead as Dominic and Maruka get together. Dominic vying for the second spot now and slides into it. This time, Maruka gets around two, turn four a little better, but not before he gives up two spots on the track. Great three car race for the number one spot. Tunis, Dominic, Maruka now trying the outside. He's got some speed. Keep your eyes on Bill Maruka in the 53. I think he's found something up top. Look at him go. He passes Dominic. And now it's a Tunis sandwich. The 53 right around. Another push for the 53 knocks him out of contention. Checkered flag is out, your winner, Pete Dominic. Sean Tunis, second, third. Was the 53, wow. That was some street stock race. Right to the checkered flag with lots of lead changes. And the Odyssey Holmes 2T is your unofficial winner. Of course, the street stocks must weigh a minimum of 3,200 pounds and not a pound lighter. Hey, Caroline Braid's down there in the Winnipeg Blue Bombers jersey, and I think she's got some stuff to give away. What do you got, Caroline? Old Dutch chips, all right, we've got some old Dutch chips. Who wants some free stuff? Let's make some noise, Winnipeg. Make some noise for Caroline Braid here on Blue Bombers Night. T-shirts. Make some noise, stand up and wave your hands. It is Winnipeg Blue Bombers night as we get set to go with the street stock heat number two. All right, street stock heat number two up on the racetrack. Hey, we want to say hi to all the great folks from Enns Brothers joining us tonight. Of course, Dustin Enns driving the number 18 super truck has brought along his entourage from Enns Brothers and they're here enjoying the races, so hello to all of you from Enns Brothers. All right, here we go with street stock heat number two starting on the pole. Is the ATEC parts number 70 of Jesse Tunis outside the Todd's Electric. Number 81 is Jordan Dure. Inside row two in the 08, sponsored by L Bar Erectors and Econo Muffler. This is Barry Hicks. And outside in the 17 is Ryan Kastreba. Inside row three in the 11JR, sponsored by Shooters, this is Shane Holden. And the 55 is Andy Martins. He drives for Sun Valley RV 
and Ignite 107. Six street stocks here in street stock heat number two for Oasis Construction, Supreme Overhead Doors, Tire Stewardship, and Caspian Construction. Well, Jordan Dury out of Minnesota in the Johns Bar and Grill, Todd's Electric number 81. He squirts out to the early lead and it's a big one. Keep your eyes on the 55, making it three wide in turn number three. Look at Andy Martin's beautiful job down there. That is a great pass. The Sun Valley RV 55 started sixth and is now second. Shane Holden with trouble as he collects the 70. Jesse Tunis stopped at the top of turn two. Yellow flag is out on the speedway. Well, I'll tell you, the number 81, Jordan Dure, started on row number one. In fact, in the second starting position outside of row one, and really went to the lead, but the 55 of Martins started sixth and ended up in the second spot very quickly. So now, with I believe one completed lap here, the 55 will be right on the back bumper of the 81, and we'll see if he's got anything for the driver Jordan Dure in car number 81 out of Minnesota. While the ATEC parts, Grand Prix Amusements number 70, Jesse Tunis, one of three Tunises racing in the street stocks. Jesse, of course, is the brother of Sean Tunis, both of them the son of Mark Tunis. So a pair of Tunises in street stock heat one, and a single Tunis in street stock heat two. All right, looks like one lap to green now as we get set to go. 70 will take his spot on the back of the pack here. Fine Ride Auto Sales number 70 getting set to go. Of course, the yellow flag was for the 11. That is Shane Holden, so he will go right to the back. And of course, Tunis, one spot in front of him. So the 81 out of Minnesota is Jordan Dure, the Johns Bar and Grill, Todd's Electric, number 81 will lead them to the green flag in this Delaware style restart. The 55 in row number two with the 17 and here we go. Andy Martin's in the 55 going low in the corner, trying to close the gap on the 81 who stays very straight out of the corner. 55 unable to make up any ground, but maybe here now in three and four, a great corner for the 55. That car works great over there. The Triple E Sun Valley RV 55. Ooh, a little bit sideways in turn one. That enables the 81 of Jordan Dure to get away. Now it is in turn three and four that Martin seems to do the best, but now Jordan Dure has a bigger lead. Harry Hicks sideways on the front shoot in the L Bar Erectors number 08, getting into the 17, but only slightly. Andy Martins closed the gap up. Four laps remaining. Well, street stock heat number one was outstanding, and this one is shaping up to be the same. Troubles for the 17 of Ryan Kastriba as he goes around but continues down the track. Andy Martins has got the low side of turn number four. That's where he wants to be. And Martins now with the advantage. Andy Martins battling with the 81, Dure coming right back, and Dure now has the lead. The 81 sponsored by John's Bar and Grill and Todd's Electric is your leader. We have two laps remaining now in this street stock heat, and what a race we have, wow. Troubles for Andy Martins as he falls off the handle, the 81, has got a huge lead now 
as he prepares to take the white flag. Jordan Dure out of Minnesota gets the white flag, one lap to go. Well, Jordan Dury was challenged by the 55 earlier. He won't be now. Checkered flag for the Todd's Electric, number 81. Second spot, the 55, Andy Martin's third. Shane Holden in the 11, JR. Shane Holden with a good recovery, but not enough to get to the front after causing a yellow flag. For the Todd's Electric, John's Bar and Grill, number 81 out of Minnesota, Jordan Dure, up and over the Pizza Pizza scale. He'll be followed by a hard-charging Andy Martins in the Sun Valley RV, Triple E, number 55. Martins started sixth and ended up second. Dure started second.